Hey, it's almost Halloween, and in this episode of the Sack and Stone Team Show, we're gonna be go going over last minute tips and tricks to make your Halloween that much more special. Stay tuned for the hacks we've got for you. Since 1988, I have had one passion only, that is to exceed customer expectations in every facet of the real estate transaction. Our attention to detail and negotiating skills make us the most sought after realtors in our marketplace. Real estate is an industry that's now technologically driven. We at the Sack and Stone Team will always be cutting edge. Well, that's about as scary as I get, but we want to be informative today with episode six of the Sack and Stone Team show, our Halloween edition. We're going to be over, going over tips and tricks that are inexpensive to enhance your Halloween experience. Shall we get to it? Let's get to it. Here's hack number one. Lane. Okay, we're going to start with uh, pumpkin carving. That's always fun. Everybody tends to do that every single year. Uh, here we have a wolf howling at the moon, as you can see. Ooh. Oh, I know. It's spooky, right? It's very uh, spooky. <laughs> Way so, more creative than I could ever So we ha I have to admit this was done by using a stencil, but that's okay. We didn't have to use or pay for a stencil booklet. We found one online. We just printed it out with our at-home printer and computer, and we used this, and now we have a beautiful wolf howling at the moon. And I got to give a shout out to Lane's girlfriend, Kirstie. They had a great party last night at home. It was creative and everybody went home with their own creation. Speaking of creations, if they want to preserve these and showcase them past Halloween, they're going to need to do something because in about 24 hours, this is going to start to shrivel up, get moldy and be a home for a lot of gnats. I've come up with a 10% bleach solution and yeah, it's colored for a little more festive look, but that's 10% bleach to water. And we just want to spray the inside of our jack-o-lantern all around inside before we prep put it out and it's going to last for five to seven days so these artists can showcase what they've created for almost a week after halloween but if you don't have time to pumpkin carve you have another solution right you do and that's the scott method which last year at four o'clock i was at the supermarket buying candy and i thought oh my gosh am i going to carve a pumpkin and i said no because everything was marked half or 75 percent off this guy had been 25 bucks i got him for 9.99 ceramic easy breezy which is my watchword filled it with tea lights, stuck it out on the walkway. It was my jack-o'-lantern of choice, and I didn't have to even get out a knife or muss or fuss. <laughs> that sounds like a great deal. And I'm going to stick with the what you can print out at home theme. So here you see a pumpkin kind of in the adult coloring book you know, theme that's uh, very popular right now. Uh, what we do is we open up a bottle of wine, put on a Halloween movie, got some Uber Eats, still at food delivered, and had an at-home date night while we, you know, and uh, did a, an adult coloring Halloween theme. So that was a really easy, cheap, ineffective way to have fun, be creative, and stick within the Halloween mode. And relax, and again, be artistic. I need to take some notes from Lane, because I'm always all over the place and in a rush. So good for you for taking the time to just chill and create something fun with your girlfriend. Yep. Okay, so the last one that I'm going to be talking about is what can you do at the dollar store? Because the dollar store is really fun, but we have these mason jars here, these fake battery powered tea candles and fake uh, spider web that we put around them. And it's just kind of like an eerie candle that looks really cool at night. So one of the things that we did last year is we lined up our walkway for trick or treaters to follow with these candles. And that way they walk straight up to our front door to get the candy, but you can use them as uh, along with the centerpiece on your dining room table. You can put them around the home when it gets dark. They look really, really cool when it's all said and done. And like I said, dollar store, really inexpensive, really cool way to I love that idea, Lane. And on that note, if anyone takes up any of our hacks, we'd love to see what you've done with it and share it with us. Or if you've got your own creative things, let us know. Final hack is this is selfishly for my waistline because at the end of the night, I don't want to be left with a whole lot of candy because we know the candy comes in the big giant bags. Most of the time, we got a lot of leftovers. I don't want to be tempted. And I've come up with a little trick that's made me the most popular house in the neighborhood too. And that's when I get down towards the last half hour or so, instead of taking a piece and dropping it in the kids' bags, I let them go right in, say, kids, you go in with one handful, take as much as you can. I get these incredulous looks from little kids. They'll look up at me, they'll bug their eyes out. They can't believe I just said, you can take your hand and grab as much as you want. It makes a popular house for me and the kids love it. And I have no candy at the end of the night. That's the final hack. Hope we've helped you. Hey, Halloween special, Sack and Stone Team show. Thanks for watching. Bye. At the Sack and Stone Team, our clients are always number one. Get in touch with us with a call, text, or email, and stay in touch. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Boo! Well, that's about as scary as I get. Hey, it's Lane and Scott with episode six of the Sack and Stone Team show. 
our Halloween special. <laughs> Today's Sack and Stone Team episode, we're going to be talking about tips, tricks. Oh, sorry. sorry. What are we, what are you, that's it for our hacks. We hope you found value with them. We'd love it if you want to share, if you've taken any ideas from us or any of your hacks that you might have. We're not Martha Stewart, so we don't have the after, so you can see all the designs out here. But if you've got some cool pictures you get on Halloween, send them to us. Okay. Uh, we have one more. Oh, sorry. Go for it, Lane. Sorry, you, okay, sure. Okay. No, no script on this show. I guess I was stealing the thunder. I say cut it. Yeah.